on the morning of September the 16th, 1994. Teachers and school officials at the aerial school in Rawa, Zimbabwe were amazed when the school students, aged approximately 5 to 12 years old, had reported that a flying object had landed on the school grounds. The teachers at the school were in a meeting, so the 62 children were unsupervised while in the schoolyard on morning recess. The only available adult seems to have been one of the mothers, who was operating the school tuck shop, a sort of snack bar where candy snacks and sodas are sold. According to some sources, UFOs had been seen in the skies over Zimbabwe for two days before the incident occurred. Rawa is around 20 kilometers from the capital of Zimbabwe, and Aerial School is a private elementary school. The children said that they'd first seen three objects in the sky. These objects would disappear and then reappear in different locations. The objects moved closer and closer to the ground and finally landed in a brushy area adjacent to the schoolyard. This area had not been fully cleared and was off limits to the students. The object landed or hovered just above the ground in an area around 100 meters from the students. The children said that a small man about one meter in height appeared on the top of the object. The little man, who was described as having a scrawny neck, long black hair and huge eyes, walked a short way across the ground towards the students. When he noticed the children, he vanished and then reappeared at the back of the object. The object then took off and vanished. The smaller children were very frightened and cried for help. They believed that the little man was a demon who would eat them. African children have heard legends of Tokolosis, demons who come for children. The children ran to the tuck shop operator, but she did not want to leave the shop unattended. The late Cynthia Hind, known as Africa's foremost UFO investigator, investigated the cause the next day. When she was first contacted, she asked the headmaster of the school, Colin Mackey, to have the children draw pictures of what they saw. When she arrived at the school, he had around 35 drawings for her. The drawings were of very similar objects. The headmaster affirmed that he believed the students were telling the truth, and one little girl said the following, I swear by every hair on my head and the whole Bible that I'm telling the truth. Dr. John Mack, the abduction researcher and his associates, went to Roa and spent two days interviewing and counselling 12 of the children and their parents. Curiously, the older students said they felt that the creatures were communicating with them somehow, sending the message that we humans are destroying our planet and polluting the environment in ways that will have dire consequences. One person said those thoughts came from the man's eyes. The sightings TV show did a report on the aerial school landing, and video footage exists of actual testimony from the children. So my question to you guys is, what do you think these children saw? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.